My name is Chris Wood. This is my uh, 10 C's for $10 video. Okay. Dollar Tree. Won't focus, but 10.54. And today's date. For the 10 C's, I went with Steel Bowl. 100% cotton hand towel for the uh, cotton material, obviously. A candling device, 16 candles, 300 matches. Cover, this is an interesting one. I figured uh, I could buy a tarp or I could buy a drop cloth or something, but plastic wrap. We'll see what happens. Cutting tool. For the needle, it's obviously sewing kit, unlimited. Three things of jute twine for a buck. Seems like a decent deal. Then whopping 10 yards of duct tape per dollar. Now as you see, I'm in a sling. Can't really do much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and set up. But there's enough deadfall and everything around here where I really don't need to worry about much of cutting or anything but I'm gonna set up a little shelter here and see what happens oh and I also got a can of spaghetti and meatballs that I figure container and lunch what I did here is broke off some small saplings from over there and I'm actually using the duct tape to lash them together since you know tying knots doesn't really work so well right now so I'll get like I said, shelter set up, and then uh, I'll get a fire started, and I'll show you guys a couple tricks with the needle and with what you can use the duct tape and matches for. So here is the most redneck rig shelter on earth. You got duct tape lashings. <clears throat> about waist high. but it'll work if you have to make it work if I had to make it work it would work and still got a little bit left over so I want to enclose the side or something I could but this can also the reason I picked this up is because I am in a sling and if I had to make another sling the easiest thing to use would be something like this a little bit of this a little bit of cargo tape I could do it not that I want to, but I could. Um, yeah, so uh, next I'll uh, start on a fire and get some things going and then uh, check back in with you guys. It's 1 o'clock now. Uh, okay, here's what I want to show you guys. Take a bunch of matches, you wrap some duct tape around them. duct tape will actually start burning and it'll work as an extender you know once it gets nice and hot and there's one little trick that I picked up from my grandfather years ago figure I'll pass that on it's a little bit of knowledge I got my uh, fake fire dice started the same way over here in the, the bucket because there's no open fires right now in my area so it's it's an enclosed fire see besides for that one just we'll forget about that one but next thing is I'm gonna try to show you guys a trick magnetizing a needle using nothing but your knife and I'm gonna see if it'll work this time because you know this isn't a very good knife Oh, and uh, yeah, 105. So we'll see how long that burns. I mean, either way, that's more than enough to, you know, throw some smalls and stuff on and get it going. So. 
Okay, it is about three minutes later, and I just finally went out. So, that worked for a good long time. I got water in here. I'm going to try to find a stick and then try to magnetize this needle. Or a leaf or something that'll work. Okay, this is a pain to do technically one handed, but all you do, you take it like this, and you run it up your needle on the tip of your knife. fifty to a hundred times. So I'm gonna do that now and we'll see what happens. Okay. Now magnetize the needle. It stopped floating in the center here. I do believe. I guess it's kinda of settling like that. I can't really do this with there we go. This is going to be a disaster. But, you got that right there. I can't hold that much longer. God damn it. <clears throat> um, so, that works. But, yeah, that's all you do. You take the, the tip of your knife and you go over the needle a bunch of strokes. And, mind you, that took two minutes to do. So, in an emergency, it work. Now, am I going to say it's the best thing to do? No. Uh, as you see, I brought my real compass out just to make sure. But I did find also at my dollar store that I picked up about three weeks ago this cheap little compass. It is literally cheap little compass. Okay, now, as you see, it, it points north, but would I trust something that's, what, a, a toy? Because that's where I found it, was the toy section. W would I trust my life to this? Absolutely not. But it gives me general direction, and I know it works. So, but, you know, no open fires, but... Yeah, you know. I mean, really, it's it's all what you can do. Now, would I want to sleep in a saran wrap shelter for a long time? No. I'd rather have a tarp, which they sold there, or, you know, a poncho, which you could use. But this, I mean, you could make cordage out of it just by wrapping it up. You can make obviously a shelter. Like I said, I could make a sling out of it. Um, you can do you can do quite a bit with it. So, why not? I mean, I wasn't sure if it was actually going to stay up, but worst case, worst case scenario, if I had to do something and I had to stay here, I can set this up. I can take some of the pine tree, put the boughs, the boughs right down on here. I got the duct tape holding it up, so it'd work. So, but steel container, you know, it'll boil with. This is actually starting to boil in the can, so lunch will be ready soon. I mean, 16 candles for a buck, you can't beat it. The jute twine is, you see, I opened, but haven't really used it, because, well, tying knots, I figured out I can't really do that well right now. So... <clears throat> the knife it you know it's very flimsy would I trust this no it's better than nothing that's what it comes down to is this is better than nothing and if I had to start somewhere with something just to get by sure why not I mean I can take this real easy actually let's see if I can do this on camera fold it in half Half 
back again. I don't know how this camera even works, so I know where the pause button is, start and stop, that's about it. Board from the saran wrap tube, wrap it with duct tape. There's a sheath to protect not only the knife but my clumsy self from the knife, as long as you don't push it out the back end. Not only that, but I got this serrated edge here. I don't know if it'll actually do anything. But since I'm thinking outside the box. I'll be. It's flimsy. But it technically could be used as a saw, so I got a free cutting, another cutting tool, along with, you know, the knife, the little scissors that are in the sewing kit, needles, pins, all sorts of other stuff, but I got basically a free mini saw out of the deal, but, I mean, that, that's about it, you know, this thing is 16 by 25, Actually, what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to use it right now to pad inside my slings. My wrist is starting to hurt. That's what it is. is learning to use what you have. You see? <laughs> Ten items and the fire. I mean, you know, steel container, it's going to boil. I got... That, that's it. I mean, there's so much you can do with what there is here. I mean, I got three bags out of the deal because I had them triple bag it. Because why not? So there's three ways to carry my items. These, you're not going to get 300 fires out of it, but whatever. I mean, seriously. Plastic, you can use fire extender, whatever, you know, the cargo tape, obviously, I'll put that needle away before I lose it, I mean, my only thing is, is it's difficult for me to do stuff right now, but I know that I can at least get a shelter, so it's even harder to set up than a tarp, I got a fire going, I got my lunch ready, I could boil water, but it's it's me, so I, I have my Mountain Dew with me. But, you know, I got cordage. I could make it work. I could 
I can make this work, but am I going to on an everyday basis? Absolutely not. That being said, I mean, that's, that's it. It's a starting point. It's a good way to learn, to hone knowledge. I mean, I've been outdoors all my life, but I haven't been dealing with any of the 10 C's or anything the way it's broken down. I mean, I've always carried something along the lines, compass, knife, a poncho, and usually rope or something with me, but I'm, I was usually on horseback, so it's a whole different ball game walking through the woods, figuring out what is good to carry, what's not good to carry. I can't carry everything I used to. So that all comes into, a, into play. Anyways, y'all have a good day.